In this video, I will use one example to illustrate how to compute limits of indeterminate type 0 times infinity. We cannot use L'Hopital's rule directly for them, but we can rewrite them first and then use L'Hopital. I'm going to use this example. At this moment, I invite you to pause the video and try to compute this limit, or at least try to understand why this limit is difficult, and then continue watching. I want to compute the limit as x approaches infinity of x times pi over 2 minus arctangent of x. This is a product of two functions, so first let's see what the limit of each factor is. As x approaches infinity, the limit of arctangent is pi over 2. So the limit of pi over 2 minus arctangent, well, it's going to be 0. So I have 0 there. And on the other hand, the limit of x is infinity. So I have infinity times 0, which is an indeterminate form. You may be tempted to think that it's 0, because 0 times anything is 0, but we can't quite say that. Remember, this doesn't mean we are actually multiplying the number 0 times infinity, which is not even a number. We're talking about limits. So as x approaches infinity, I'm going to be multiplying a very large number, but not infinity, times a very small number, but not necessarily 0. So a large number times a small number, that could be anything. And that's why this is an indeterminate form. We have two functions pulling in opposite directions, and whichever one pulls the strongest, that one will win. So this is an indeterminate form, but it's a product. And the main tool I have is L'Hopital's rule that only works for quotients. The trick here is that I can always rewrite any product as a quotient. I can rewrite it like this. What I have done here is I've written x as 1 over 1 over x. Because multiplying by a number is the same thing as dividing by 1 over that number. And once I have it this way, now I have a quotient. Let's see which indeterminate type is. The limit of the numerator is 0, we already knew that. And as x approaches infinity, the limit of 1 over x is also 0. Great. So this is an indeterminate type 0 divided by 0. And that is exactly the type where I can try to use L'Hopital's rule. So let's do that. I'm going to use L'Hopital's rule and see if it works. According to L'Hopital's rule, this limit will be equal, is this new limit exist, to, in the numerator, I need the derivative of the numerator. The derivative of pi over 2 is 0, and the derivative of arctangent is 1 over 1 plus x squared. And the derivative of 1 over x is minus 1 over x squared. Great, this has simplified a lot, the arctangent is gone. Now, let me use a bit of algebra, get rid of the minus signs, and rearrange the fractions. and I guess half this limit. And now I know I can finish it from here. Perhaps you already know what the answer is, because this is a quotient of polynomials, so the only thing that matters is the leading coefficient, or use L'Hopital twice if you prefer, or factor out the biggest power, but whichever way you do it, the answer ends up being one. So this limit exists. And since the answer is one, which is a number, then the original limit also has answer one. The trick how to rewrite zero times infinity as a quotient is always going to work, because no matter which functions I have here, you can always rewrite any function f as 1 over 1 over f. And then if the limit of the original function was 0, the limit of 1 over f will be infinity, plus minus. And if the limit of the original function was infinity, the limit of 1 over the function will be 0. So any type 0 times infinity can be rewritten as a quotient, 0 over 0, or infinity over infinity, on which you can use L'Hopital's rule.